Right people, this is my first craft video that I've ever done. Um, I've been asked to do this particularly by Lily and Dee, so thanks very much for um, having the confidence in my ability in crafting. Um, excuse the music in the background, but I do get very nervous when I do these type of things, and I'm really quite a bit shy. So my apologies if I have shaky hands um, or anything else. Um, just a little bit about me, um, I've been crafting for about 20 years now um, and everyone's been saying what I've done is quite amazing um, but I've never really had the courage to put anything up on YouTube um, but I've been pushed to do this and I hope it, it, it makes everyone happy um, and what I produce is, is what you like. Um, what I'm going to produce is a, a, a very cute fairy. Um, it's very, very simple to make. A pair of scissors. Some card. Now, I, you can use any card you like. I tend to prefer the card that you get for um, when you post records. Makes them stiff so they don't bend. Um, you need some paper. Um, now, I've got some paper here. Um, and you can use any paper. This is just an old folder that I've got with all sorts of different flyers, letters, all sorts of things in here. Um, and you can just really use anything you want. Um, I found, um, I think, the perfect paper here to use, which is a, a recent letter from the, the local police about antisocial behaviour. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this to start with, but I might need some more as we go on. So, before I commence, um, a hello to Lily and Dee for encouraging me to do this, thank you very much. To Maggie, Natasha, Diana, Sis, hello Sis, and Artie, I hope your crocodile's okay. Right, or alligator, sorry, alligator. So, right, what you need to do is get your paper, it doesn't really matter at this stage what you, uh, which way up you put it, and what you need to do is you fold it, one corner to another, like that. And it looks a little bit like a pirate hat. See? Just like that. And then you get your card, and with your scissors, you can use any scissors, I prefer the ones that you get in your kitchen drawer. These are, these are quite good for the job. And then you cut, cut your card like this. Try and keep it as straight as you can. Um, otherwise it doesn't look very good and then you get your card like that and you put it up against the, uh, the top um, and then you need to get some tape oh, I knew I had some tape here somewhere um, use any old tape, I tend to prefer the, uh, the nice stuff Just brown wrapping paper is great for the job rip that off, you can use your teeth Stick that on top like that, okay, and then turn it over and do the same on the other side like that. So that's kind of the start of the of the fairy, okay. See it taking shape, okay. <laughs> and then um, you need to kind of make its face. It's a quite a tricky bit this bit. You get your, your tape like this, and you just put it into a ball, so, and you screw it up, and it becomes all sticky like that, so you can stick it on the top like that, alright? And then you get another bit of tape, uh, sorry about the noise, you get another bit of tape like that, and you stick that across there, it gives it, it, gives it a bit of depth, and if it comes off the edge like that, just fold it round so it doesn't stick on the table. See? Gives it a bit of depth, okay? And then um, with your marker pen, I, I've got a whole collection of marker pens here. Um, I tend to prefer the uh, the ones you get from Staples. They're quite cheap, do the job good as well. Um, oh, let's use a blue one for the face. And then for the face, you just put anywhere you like. Just put an eye there, an eye there. And you see the way this kind of looks like the nose of the fairy, see? Um, so that's the nose, and then you can 
draw a mouth like that. I'll have my, my one smiling. Okay, and I'll just put a little bit on the, the nose like that, okay? And then, um, let's make it look a bit, of, a bit pretty like this. And cut another bit of, a bit of card off like that. And we'll give a, the fairy some arms. Um, and then, as with the nose, just get your tape, screw it all up like this, and stick that on there, and stick that on top, and then when you've done that, another bit of tape over like that, okay? And that is really how you make a simple fairy. I hope you can all see that okay. I'm quite impressed with that. If you wanted to, you could use different coloured paper. I, the last one I made, I used green. Um, it was an old letter we had from the council. Um, squish down like that so the nose looks. That's it. See, look at that. And that's it. Now then, when you've finished, you have to... Uh, you have to give the fairy a name. <laughs> now, I'm going to get a black pen. I hope this one works. And I'm going to call this fairy, fairy, there you are, and then what I would recommend to anyone on um, YouTube that perhaps is, is crafting is making sure that no one copies your work because from what I've seen there's a lot of copying going on now I'm, I'm a, a DJ and in the music world there's a lot of inspiration taken from people and music and I think the same applies in the crafting world and inspiration is good but there's a lot of copying and blatant copying um, even examples of where people have um, put a, a video up of something they've made and then two hours later someone has put an exact copy of exactly that thing on YouTube just blatantly copying um, what that other person's done which I think is completely wrong um, you should have your own ideas, but be inspired by people. Nothing wrong with inspiration. So anyway, what I recommend you do is, when you've finished, get a, a big black marker pen, and in the middle here, if you write C, and then put a circle around it, then that is copyright, and no one can copy it. And then C is quite an interesting word, because... In the world of crafting, obviously C can be used for, for many different words. Craft, obviously. Crafty. Cuddly. Um, clever. Um, cut. Um, coffee. I think everyone has a coffee break now and again. But I'm going to use this word down here because I think it will fit nicely um, to describe this and some of the people on YouTube um, and some of the videos that I see. So we start with C and we have U T E. Cute. So that now is a cute copyright fairy. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.